Hey, beautiful earth angels. So this is kind of like a what's going on <laughs> little uh, video. So I want to share the energy of the full moon because I think this energy is really powerful and really, really, really important. Um, before that, I want to share with you guys that all of my rituals on my Etsy shop are on sale because of mercury retrograde i'm having a huge 40 percent off sale um especially that i'm working a lot on my web page so i've been kind of putting a lot of energy into my web page before this video i shared the hakate ritual for you those of you that wanted to connect with spirits the ritual is up and i think i have the download so if you want to get your own stuff the ritual tells the, the video shows you like what you need for your Hakate ritual. So some of you I know you're already, you know, have your own spiritual altars and you have a lot of stuff. You, you have your salts. I use the black salt, but I think the original ritual um, says you could use any salt. I've heard people using Himalayan pink salt. I find that the energy of black association with Hakate and on um, Sampain is kind of like works together. Plus my black salt has like a lot of energy. I make it myself. So yes, uh, if you want to be part of the full moon ritual, all of that stuff is available in my shop and it's 40% uh, off. Okay, I want to share with you insights about the full moon. I want to thank my Patreons. Um, we are going to do a moon box unboxing. I'm hoping you guys got your moon boxes by now. I think there's one of you that haven't gotten it yet. It turns out that it's the energy of, um, sorry, it's the weekend. I'm, I'm thinking energy, energy, energy. It's, uh, <coughs> it's a long weekend. So the um, shipping has been really slow. At least that's what they're saying that it's a long weekend. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of revelations happening in, it, this coincides that this full moon is in Mercury retrograde, and there's six planets all together that are in retrograde. So you're getting a lot of false energy, uh, almost like lies that have been uh, told to you. There's a lot of revelations. They're telling you to look for a higher a view, a higher point, to focus on outside the box energy. Um, there's going to be a lot of exposure about things that we thought were are, are actually not. I feel like this has to do universal, universal. Uh, it could be governments. It could be you know. So there's a lot of falseness that is going to be revealed. You have to look beyond of what's in front of you okay we're all going through massive massive changes you're all sending you're all setting intentions but a lot of you are setting intentions on past ideas this full moon is about taking a leap of faith it's about a lot of changes that you're not ready for and you're a lot of you are going to freak out after the full moon energy because a lot of those changes will come into play and you're gonna be like well I wasn't ready or that's not what I wanted that wasn't my intention so your angels are saying you must look beyond um, revamp what you're intending with more so of the changes that are coming into your life They're also saying that a lot of this has to do with maybe things that you didn't want in your life and you kind of been like I don't want this I don't want this I don't want this maybe complaining about it energy of complaint is also brings upon changes so be careful if you're complaining about things that you actually care about um when we tend to complain about things and then we lose them and we wonder why we lost them those are called self okay so my video shut off and <laughs> i don't i don't like mercury retrograde i'm freezing every other mercury retrograde for the rest of my life i don't care I'm just not dealing with it anymore. <laughs> okay, so um, the full moon energy is about seeing beyond. You know, that's where I was shedding the light on. 
is kind of like the things that are happening to us that are making us become like extremely frustrated. Like for me example, now my phone won't want to record over six minutes, even though I deleted everything and I added, you know, memory. It's like things are not working and we're becoming extremely frustrated because there's no reason for them not to work. The internet is crap. <laughs> Um, you know, like, so for me, it, where does it hit me? It hits me in my work, you know, because I'm always working on my computer, I'm always working on my phone. So it's going to sabotage. Mercury Retrograde is going to put these things in your face so you could change them. So you could like, okay, this is not working. What do I have to do to make this work? Um, I have been pushed to work on my books, on my videos and stuff like that and not so much on my Etsy shop, not so much one-on-one, -on -one, unless it's like more on-call services. Um, because I feel like I help more when I'm with you one-on-one -on -one than I'm with 20, 30 people in a, in a week. That takes a lot of my energy and it's kind of like, I feel like I help you to a certain extent, but I feel like it's never enough, you know? So this full moon is about us seeing our truth. See how I'm realizing my truth and I'm giving examples of what I'm going through personally so I know what I have to work on. Really important. This is why your journals are so important. Um, so, you. so here I've been sharing a lot of the dreams that I've been having. So a lot of us are getting lucid dreams. And like I said before, if you're not getting lucid dreams, then you need to figure out you know get yourself crystals you know certain herbs you know i just got like this beautiful new uh, uh spiritual deck of cards that uh, my cousin sent me it was super funny he sent me the link and he's like and then all i did was click on the link and i saw the cards and i bought them i didn't even tell him nothing i just like bought them and he's like wait there's two links there's one with the book and whatever whatever thank god that you know synchronized energy i bought the right one because he had actually just sent me a few links so it's being aware of the things that we must do and connecting with the magic. Um, since I'm working with a lot of writing, I just listed the um, Manifesting Your Pregnancy journal in Amazon. I'll link that below since I talk about it, what I try to do is what things I talk about the video, I'll link them below. The journal is so pretty. So these scripting journals are more for people like you that know about scripting. If you don't know anything about scripting, I suggest you get a book or watch videos that teaches scripting. I have videos. I'm going to try to do a playlist or at least organize everything in a playlist that talks about scripting. That way you become more attuned with what it is and how to do it. Because what I notice is sometimes people get the, video, the, the books and they're like, this book sucks. <laughs> because they don't understand it's an actual journal for people that actually already script. Um, I try to share a lot about it here on my channel, you know, on my Patreons this month. I hope you got the boxes because I'm just spoiling everything. My Patreons got scripting journals this month because scripting is extremely important, especially during the next couple of months and going into January 2022. So it's almost like this full moon is going to bring a lot of revelations and it's, and it's so funny because like I the last video and I still got the same card a lot of revelations to what we need to take up action on make the changes that we need to make make peace with our past completely let it go so we could start living our new chapters and our new journey I feel like everything that's happening with me with Etsy is because I need to kind of realize then I need to focus on my webpage. I could do blogs on my webpage, you know, teach, you know, write articles and stuff like that, information. I could share my principles with you guys on my webpage. So I feel like it's more, my webpage is gonna be more personal than with that city. It's like millions of us all kind of cluttered together, you know, selling. And we're like a needle in a haystack. And especially the now, um, they changed the algorithm so people like me are being kind of like pushed out. So this full moon is about opening to new discoveries and the doors are going to start opening. I'm going to be sharing 
a video on how I use my own personal candle magic to opening the doors and a lot of unblocking. So just want to share the light over this full moon energy, what to look out for. Mainly overall is to pay attention what is being shown to you. Especially when you're really frustrated about something, why are you frustrated? This is the universe showing you something is not fitting, something is not right. You don't want to let go to this of this energy, so you're just holding on. That time is great for those changes. And that's why I'm, I think when Spirit told me last night, because I literally put my shop for sale late last night, it was a pushing acting on what we must do. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Many blessings.